well, this will be this will be a good test. Yeah, it's showing that uh, even with everything off, it's still gonna be 24 hours before we get back to our 80% charge. Hey guys, it's Trev here, cruising along in the Model 3. Now this week, we are going to do a little bit of a test. I have said in the past, uh, in some of my videos, when I was talking about the charging equipment that I have, that the Tesla equipment that comes with the car is absolutely no good. Uh, but somebody that I know that owns a Standard Range Plus actually challenged me on that. And so now I'm going to do a little one week test. So I drive about 50 kilometers a day to and from work, uh, plus a few other errands and stuff like that. So it, sh it uses a pretty good amount of charge. Now, that being said, the charge rate on the standard wall plug that comes with the Tesla is fairly low. I think it would take, I mean, a full charge for me would take like 20 plus hours, but the argument is that you don't drive a full tank every single day. So I'm actually going to do my normal driving as I would, but this week I will uh, plug in with the normal standard charging hardware, and then we will see how I am doing uh, throughout the week and by the end of the week. So let's see uh, if you can go normally driving with the standard charging hardware that comes with the car and you don't actually have to buy the Tesla wall charger or the NEMA 1450 uh, setup like I did. Okay guys, so we're home now on our first day of the challenge here. And as you can see, I've set one week challenge here. We've reset the kilometers on that so we could track how much I'm actually using. We'll see the real starting point here. And again, I'm just gonna be using the charger that came with the car. Now we're at 311 kilometers of range, but keep in mind it is winter, so that is not accurate at all. That's gonna be reduced. And now we have our charging gear here. So this is the charger that you get when you buy the Model 3. And this is my charger here now. So actually what we can do is just pull that out of the wall that comes out like that. It's a really, really great system actually. And I will throw that in there. And now we are set up. Now I'm very curious what this is gonna say. So it's my first time doing this, I'm plugging it in. There we go, the household jack. Can you plug it into the household jack and use it on a regular basis? I'm very curious to see this. So we can grab our charger here. Wow, look at that spaghetti. Okay, we are back and set up. So I have the charging cable in there. You can see it's bringing down charge. All that spaghetti is undone. We've got charge coming into the car. So let's see what it says for our charging time. Okay, nine hours in 15 minutes. Now I have my daily set there to 80% and uh, yeah, it's saying that it's gonna take nine hours. So we should have that 80% by tomorrow, no problem. But then I have to go run out and do a whole bunch of errands tomorrow and then go to work. So yeah, we'll, we'll start today and we will continue doing this for seven days so that we include a weekend as well. Uh, I think that's fair to do. So we'll do Monday, to Monday. It's Monday today. We'll end on Monday and see if it is possible or if I start to fall behind on the mileage. Okay, so it's plugged in now. Let's see what happens if we try to charge to full. What's she gonna say? 20 hours? What? The really crazy part here, guys, is even though it says it's gonna be like nine hours to do this 80 or so uh, kilometers of charge. It's actually at zero kilometers per hour because just me sitting in here is burning more juice than what it's getting from that uh, standard household connection. Oh my, this is going to be an interesting week. Okay guys, check this out. Eight kilometers per hour. Okay guys, so we're on day two now. I've come to the car and I've been warming it up like I normally would. I'm trying not to change the behavior too much and uh, it should be at a full charge. Okay, let's see where we are at for charge. Yeah, 389, that's pretty normal for where I have it set at 80 in the winter. That doesn't mean I've lost 20 kilometers of range, it just means that the car is recalculating the range based off the winter 
uh, mileage, it will go back up in the spring. Um, yeah, there we go. So as of now, pretty normal stuff. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna charge once a day because that's how I normally would anyways. I'm not gonna be like rushing to charge it right when I get home. But uh, I think the big challenge is gonna come on uh, the weekend, seeing how uh, all the running, we do so much running around on the weekend and there's some uh, stores we go to that are in like a city nearby, like almost a hundred kilometers away. So I think that's gonna be a big determiner. Just going back and forth to work, I think the car is gonna be able to handle it. But then again, we will see. It's only day two, so I shouldn't get too uh, cocky about it. Okay, back home from work on day two. In she goes. Let's see how we did. Okay. Now, 10 hours, 10 hours and five minutes. So I'm down to uh, 303 kilometers of range and oh wow, do I ever, ever have to clean this screen. That is embarrassing. If anyone could recommend an anti fingerprint cover for this, I will gladly buy it. Just put your, uh, your suggestion in the uh, description below, but yes. Okay, so we have 302 kilometers of range. We started with about just what, 390 today. And uh, it's jumping probably just because the heater's still on, deciding between 10 or uh, 11 hours. And for our counter, we didn't even drive too far today, to be honest. Yeah, we only went 35 kilometers today, but uh, our watt hours, because it was a bit cooler out, 242 watt hours per kilometer. And uh, again, I don't have it on chill. I'm driving as I normally would to try to make this a realistic challenge. Okay, so we're at the start of day three now, and this was the first day uh, where I came down to the car and it was still charging. It still said 15 or 20 minutes left in the charge. Now that is not a big deal, but it is showing that maybe there is a little bit of a accumulation of backlog for the charging, depending on how much I'm using the car. And as you saw yesterday, we only did like 40 kilometers. It was not a lot at all. Um, so it is already backlogging a little bit. Now I am charging from the moment I get home, just like I normally would. I'm not doing this thing where I get home and in between leaving, I, I plug it in again. That is something we might come to a conclusion at the end of the video, but as of right now, uh, it's working, no problem, but we did have a little bit of a backlog today, which might kind of build up uh, by day seven. Okay, so it is Wednesday, end of day three, and we're showing about 13 hours for today. So down to 286 kilometers. But if we look down at our chart here, we've only done about 80 kilometers so far in the last three days. So that's less than uh, my normal average, but I have spent a lot of time waiting in the car and that means running the heat and doing a bunch of other things and using the battery. And that's on top of normal winter usage. But we will see the real challenge is the weekend because we have a bunch of stuff coming up and that's gonna mean a lot of driving and uh, on one of the evenings, a lot of usage of the battery. And I'll tell you guys more about that as we go forward. Okay, as you guys can see, at the beginning of Thursday, day four, we have four hours remaining on our charge, which means that our charge debt is increasing. Okay, so I have my beautiful wife, Tasha, here picking me up from the pub. And we're back here on Thursday night, so she's gonna plug in the car and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so we are showing 13 hours and 25 minutes <laughs> to go till full charge. Okay, so quick update here on our charging challenge. Now it is Friday, we're on our fifth day, Everything has been able to keep up pretty much so far. We had a couple days where we had a few hours of debt building up, but then that all kind of caught up on the weekend. Now, right now it's Friday night. So what we're gonna be doing is a little camp out in the car in order to kind of test our cheap camping setup and see if it works. So for that, we won't be plugging in the car. So we'll see it even without charging for a whole day if we're able to keep caught up by Monday. So it is morning and our sleeping in the car experiment did work, but I'll go into more details of that in another video. It was not kind to the battery though. I used about hundred kilometers of range and now I'm down to 170. So I'm gonna plug it in and we'll see where we're at. Okay, camping mode. 24 hours, let's try shutting off the heat and see what kind of count we get then. Well, this will be 
this will be a good test. Yeah, it's showing that uh, even with everything off, it's still gonna be 24 hours before we get back to our 80% charge. So I'm gonna leave it plugged in uh, until we need to use it, to be honest, and uh, then we'll see if we can catch up from this uh, big deficit. Because you know what, to be honest, 100 kilometers, this would be the same as going for like a huge drive or something like that and then coming back. Okay, good morning, guys. Now it is Sunday, and that means it's our last day before the day that we started this one week challenge. So where are we at even after the camping that we did in the car the other night? So as you can see, the car has seven hours and 10 minutes to go this morning. So it had over 24 hours yesterday when we stopped doing that challenge. And that challenge, you know, even though we were still in the garage, could be considered going out for a very long drive and coming back. So with seven hours to go and us doing a couple errands today, I can say this is probably going to catch up, but we'll do a recap of the entire week uh, tomorrow and uh, kind of come up with some conclusions. Okay, so we are back to Monday. It has been one week since we've started our challenge to see if we could use the original Tesla charging hardware that comes with the car and if it will be good enough to keep up with everyday use. Now, it is freezing cold in my garage right now, to be honest, so let's jump in the car and see where we ended up. So diving right in and looking at our one week challenge here, not a lot of mileage driven, only 216.5 kilometers, way less than I thought, but we used a ton of power and that was because we spent a lot of time hanging out in the car and also that challenge where we slept in the car for like 12 hours and that used a ton of power as well. So I guess it's time to draw some conclusions here. Now, overall, I'm gonna say if you are a person who just drives to and from work, you know, 20, 30 kilometers a day, this is not going to be a problem for you. You can use the existing hardware, but, and this is a huge but, if you take any sort of long distance trips where you're not supercharging, I'll put that caveat on where you're not supercharging, so you're gonna drive somewhere that's 75 kilometers away and then come back, when you come back, you're gonna have over 25 hours uh, to recover that charge. And that seriously is a huge, huge amount of time. So if you had multiple trips in a week, you were, you're gonna start going into an extreme deficit. And another thing with this is that you're gonna have to really uh, plug in the car from the moment you get home. So anytime you're at the house, uh, the car is gonna be plugged in and charging. Now that's not a huge deal, but I can see it um, becoming a large inconvenience over time, it might be a little bit annoying, especially for the fact that the NEMA 1450 plug setup that I have is really a $300 install for the electrician to put in the plug and like, you know, a $30 adapter from Tesla. And it makes a massive difference with a very low cost. So yes, you can do it. You can use the original uh, hardware that comes with the car, but it's not ideal. So as always, guys, I really wanna thank you for watching. If you can, it really helps us out if you like and subscribe to these videos. It helps bump us in the YouTube rankings and we can keep making awesome videos for you with the Tesla Model 3 performance. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you next time.